Lessons 8 through 11 solution chart. After lesson 8, which was on solving multi-step equations, we filled out the first row. Um, if the variable terms were different, it was a one solution problem. If the variable terms were the same, but the constant terms were different, it was a no solution. If it was the exact same thing on both sides, the variable terms the same, the constant terms the same, then it was infinitely many solutions. Then, after lesson 9, which was on solving systems of equations graphically, if we had intersecting lines, it was a one solution. Parallel lines was a no solution. And coincident lines was infinite in many solutions. Then, after lesson 10, which was on solving systems of equations using substitution, if after you, so you solve for a variable, you take whatever you get after solving for a variable, plug it into the other equation, and then you solve that equation. After you solve that, so it's the third step. After you solve that equation, if you get a variable equals a number, for instance, y equals 6 or x equals negative 2, if you get a variable equals a number, then it's a one solution problem, and you would have x equals a number, y equals a number, or you could write it as an ordered pair. And this was examples 1 through 6 in the lesson 10 notes. If you solved that equation, this, so after the third step, if you solve the equation, if the variable terms cancel out, and you have two numbers that are not equal one another, 8 does not equal 4, 6 does not equal negative 6, and so forth. That is a no solution problem. And then if you do that step 3 and the variable terms cancel and you have two numbers that are equal to one another, then it is infinitely many solutions. So now that we've completed lesson number 11, we are ready to fill in the systems of equations using elimination row. Now, what I'm about to show you, this is after canceling. So this is after you've manipulated the equations so you can have um, a variable term that can cancel. So if you have two equations that say look like this, and notice I've got positive 5x and negative 5x, so those variable terms there would cancel. So you would take 4 minus 2, 4w minus 2w, and you would take 25 minus 15, and you would get 2w equals 10. And then if you would continue to solve that, you would divide both sides by 2, and you would get w equals 5. In other words, if one variable term cancels, so just the w's cancel or just the x cancels, then it's going to be a one solution where you have, you know, in this case it would be w equals 5 and x equals 1. So if only one variable term cancels, then you'll have, you know, um, w equals 5, x equals 1, or a variable equals a number, and then the second variable equals another number, and so forth. If you have two equations where, notice how the 2x and negative 2x cancel, and oops, your positive 3y and negative 3y cancel, so both variable terms cancel. Well, if everything cancels, sorry, if everything cancels on this side, what would be left? The, what would be left would be a zero. And then on this side, over here, negative 2 minus 10 would give you negative 12. So simplifying would give you zero does not equal negative 12. So if both variable terms cancel and you're left with two numbers that are not equal to one another, then it is no solution. So again, both variable terms will cancel. You'll have zero does not equal a number, and that will be no solution. Then, if you have an example where this variable term cancels, this variable term cancels, and notice even the constants cancel. In other words, everything cancels. So you would get a zero on the left side, and you'd get a zero on the right side. If everything cancels, it is an infinitely many solution. So again, one more time. If only one variable term cancels, it's going to be a one solution where you'll have um, two variables equal numbers. If both variable terms cancel but the constants don't, you're going to have zero does not equal a number. That's a no solution. If everything cancels, you'll have zero equals zero, and that would be infinitely many solutions. All right. Make sure you've paused your video and have all of that written down. Please do not forget anything. 
If you have any questions on the um, lessons 8 through 11 solution chart, please let me know.